You'd probably never know it, but there's a lot of weird hats and helmets you can find in the environment in Red Dead 2. These things are obscure, like I can't imagine finding most or any of these things on your own. Still, there's some pretty interesting and weird stuff to find, so let's just get into it. Oh, and uh, before I get started with this, fair warning, there will be spoilers in here. The last hat requires you to get the epilogue before it's obtainable. I'll throw up some big spoiler warning before we get there, though. Alright, so the first one I'm going to go for is the Cat Skull Mask. This is north of Lakay. It's down the Bau in Lemoyne. Once you're here, let's go and check out the... There's like an abandoned house, somewhat to the north. You need to go out into the bog in the bayou to find it. There it is. I just climb up here, and here it is. That's a cat skull mask. It's a little creepy. <laughs> Now let's leave this place and get a better look at it. Alright, next one I'm going to get is the a Civil War Hardy hat. That's way up north. It's southwest from the uh, Van Horde trading post. It's directly west of the Van Horde mansion. It's in this old abandoned fort. This is one of the easier ones to find, just because this is such a uh, a notable landmark. So you go in. I'm gonna go into the basement. It's a little hard to tell there even is a basement until you poke around a little bit. The actual hat is just in some random corner down here. It's not put anywhere prominent whatsoever. So you can find the Civil War knife here as well. But if you don't look closer, like after picking that up, then it's likely you'll just miss it. There's a lot of goodies around here. I still haven't found it. Let's keep looking. There it is. Yeah, it's just in this random corner. Let's pick it up. Boom. Oh yeah, now we're looking good. Alright, next one I'm going to get is the pig mask. <laughs> this is a creepy one. It's in Butcher Creek. It's a specific named area northwest from the Van Horn Trading Co Post. Come to this area, you would not think that there'd be a special mask here, though. Now, where is it? It is... Not here, but... Yeah, see where all this slaughter is going on? It's got a lot of loose meat and crap going on over here. That's where it is. It's on one of these random posts. There it is. Pig mask. Why would someone make this? Look at this. This thing is grotesque. 
That is gross, but there it is. Alright, next one we're going to get is the Viking Helmet. This is north of Annensburg. It's west of the Roanoke River. Just need to look for some stone ruins dug up into the earth. There we go. Right there. These don't stick out unless you get close to them because they don't, you know, actually pop out of the ground. They're like dug into trenches. It has a Viking hatchet here, but that's not what we're here for. I'll do a separate video on all that kind of stuff. All the unique weapons and stuff you can find. More interested in the helmet. Now, where is the helmet hiding? It's just in one of these corridors somewhere in the old tomb. It's somewhere around here. There it is. There we go, ready to Fuzro Da the joint up. This looks a lot like a Skyrim helmet. Look at that. Yeah, drink it in, boys. Okay, let's move on. This one I'm going to go to is on an island west from Rhodes. This is the a tricorn hat. It's a tricorner hat, sometimes called. Tricky thing about this one is that it's on an island, so it uh, doesn't make things easy for you. We're going to have to scour around the banks of the lake or whatever this is. Find something to row across because you can't swim it. It's too far. It's just way too far. You can't swim. Yep, that's where it is. On that upside down U-shaped island. I'm going to skip ahead. That looks pretty noteworthy, doesn't it? Yeah, so let's go check out this destroyed boat to find it. All right, if you do is go inside, head to the back. There's at least some good stuff in here as well. There's a lockbox. It's a little tight in here, so you might not see it, but there it is. There we go. Now you too can be a pirate. All right, let's move on. Yes, let's go to this one. This is a Nevada hat. This is the waterfall under Granite Pass is where it is. Now you need to get to the top of the waterfall to be able to get down to it. It's not like at the bottom of the waterfall. If you try to swim up to it, you'll just get pushed back. So you, what you have to do is climb to the top and then kind of make your way down. See those ledges down there? That's kind of where we want to go. This probably isn't the safest way because it looks like there's multiple directions to get into this place, but this is the way I take. So we get to the top of the falls, you kind of do a little bit of creative falling to get down.
That one looks a little slick, so let's run. Alright, that did it. Look back here. And there it is. It's a pretty fancy hat you got there. There's a note there as well. I took the time to read it, but I'm just going to skip this because you're probably not interested. This farewell note. It's actually quite long, so we'll just skip that for now. If you really want to read it, you can check the spot out yourself. All right, next one I got is the Miner's Hat. This is the abandoned mine shaft at the center of the big valley. This is West Elizabeth. This place is actually called, what's it called? Boyle's Dream on the map. So let's just ride up here. It's right at the end of the road, right by that named location spot that is marked on the map. It is an abandoned mine. At this point, you just need to check it out. There's some minor puzzle solving involved with this one, actually. Like, very minor. Basically, the way is blocked, so we have to blast it open. So there's a plunger right here. Yeah, just use it. And that'll make the way clear. All right, once you're inside, pass the blockage. Yeah, hang a right. And that'll take you to the dead miner. There's a wide blade knife you can get. And a miner's hat. This is kind of cool because it actually lights up. Just a little kerosene lamp in there. Yeah, this next one is the Morian Helmet. This is the top of Mount Hagen, like at the very top. If you kind of want to find it, it's right above the M on the Mount Hagen part of the M in Mount Hagen on the map. Because, like, there's no real landmarks in the environment for me to point it to. Basically, you just need to climb to the top and then kind of go over this awkward rocks until you find this guy, this corpse. He's really hard to notice. He's a frozen settler. Like an old conquistador or something. And he can take his hat. This is the Morian hat. Or the Morian helmet. Or peacock. Alright, next one I'm going to show you is the Pagan Skull Mask. This one is in the field northwest from Strawberry. See Strawberry there? It's past the river. It's basically just in the middle of nowhere. You'll find a, a uh, weird ritual site and then there's a hat there that you can take. It's more of a mask, but... There it is. Yeah, if you actually ride over here, that's pretty noteworthy, right? Keep a drawing for posterity. There we go. This is like a cow skull or a goat skull or something. It's pretty creepy. Okay, so from here on out, let me just give you a fair warning that there's going to be some spoilers coming up. I'll uh, flash something on the screen real soon. Boom. Spoilers ahead. So, fair warning. This is all post-epilogue stuff that I'm going to show you. 
So this next one is the raccoon hat. It's his past chapter two in Valentine. You can actually get this at any point, but I got it with our friend here. Mr. Spoiler Man. So what you need to do to get this one, it's very simple. Is you go into the saloon in Valentine. Anytime post chapter two. And then you'll find a ornery tracker. Like an old timey fur trader. It's like a mountain man out here. There he is. He makes himself very conspicuous. Now, normally you can antagonize him so you can kind of bait him into a fist fight, but that doesn't quite happen here. I'm not sure what happened, but maybe I'm too close or something. Maybe that's what it is that's not triggering. But you're supposed to be able to get into a fight with him. Then you beat him up, and he drops his hat, and you can pick it up. That sweet raccoon fur skin hat. Well, he's... Game's not really wanting to cooperate with us, so we'll just do this the Western way. It's the law of the West, friend. I like your hat. It's mine now. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> not the most honorable, but <laughs> we gotta get the hat. There we go. Let's get out of here. It was totally worth it. <laughs> Let's cheese it. Okay, and this last one I'm going to get is in Wrath Skeller Fork. This is back in the original area of the map. Just ride in here. For some reason, a lot of times these people will get aggressive on you if you wander around too much. But this is where it is. It's right here in this corner. There, the ram skull mask. Grab that. And there you go. Alright, so that's all the masks and hats and helmets or whatever that I've found so far. <laughs> If you found this video at all helpful, then please like and subscribe. I'm going to see if I can get and find all the weapons next. Thanks for watching.